Hey guys, so today I wanted to go over five things about diastasis that are actually not correct but are super perpetuated out on the internet. So we're going to briefly go over them and I'm going to kind of clear them up a little bit and that's going to be it. There'll probably be some cars behind me and our neighbor's cat too. <laughs> I am. Um, Alright, I have them on a napkin because I didn't want to get distracted because I knew there's lots of distractions outside for me. Uh, so the first thing is your abs are not separated. Um, we always talk about diastasis as a separation between the sides of your abs and that is just not true. They have not completely separated and fallen apart. There is a tissue in the middle that connects them called the linea alba. And when you're pregnant, which is often what diastasis is associated with, it stretches. And so when we are talking about diastasis as that injury component, when it's lasted past, you know, a couple months or weeks postpartum, um, we're still talking about that tissue just being stretched. It's not that your abs have fallen completely off of each other. There's no gaping hole there. The tissue is just stretched and hasn't come back to, you know, not even necessarily the pre-baby width, but it hasn't come back to function and tension that it needs to, you know, function properly and be used properly. All right, I go into a lot more of that in my core, core guide, but we're just gonna go over quickly here or this video will be hours long. Uh, the next thing that I wanted to talk about here <laughs> is she loves being pet. That's not what I wanted to talk about though. The next thing is that there are specific diastasis safe exercises. This is not 100% necessarily true. There are things that are going to be safer to start with when training back from a diastasis and getting back core function because they're naturally lower in the pressure that is created in our abdomen when we do exercises or when we do harder activities like lift things up in regular life. Um, so there are things and exercises that are naturally going to be easier to manage the pressure in our core but there is no set list that is going to be safe for every single person out there. So that's something really important to remember in pregnancy, postpartum, diastasis healing, just anything. You wanna remember that it's all gonna depend on you and your core function and core control, how in touch you are with that deep core, that inner unit, and how you can make it work for you. Um, and just how much, yeah, just how you can make it work for you because I could go into that so long, <laughs> but it's super important to have a good connection and function with that deep core and inner unit. Um, being able to manage that pressure is what makes the exercise safe, not necessarily the exercise itself. So it's gonna be very dependent on you and you learning how to use that deep core and inner unit. Uh, the next thing I am <laughs> is, let's see, I wanted to talk about Okay, this is another big one, is that it's all about the gap. <laughs> it is not all about the gap. Um, there's tons of information out there and research and studying, um, but it's about, of course the gap is part of it, but that is not all that should be talked about. We should be talking about the function of that tissue and how we can create tension in that tissue and use it as part of that deep abdominal system, that deep inner unit to create function and create tension and manage the pressure. So that's another one that's very important. And again, it goes back to being able to connect to that inner unit, that deep core, because that is how you start to be able to create that tension along the linea alba, which allows you to manage the pressure and control it and you know help it to go where it needs to go so that it's not constantly causing more damage over time. Um, or just keeping that DR open because it's pushing and pushing and pushing. Uh, the thing, the key is again, managing the pressure and that's properly connecting to the core. I'll just briefly run through that at the end of this. Uh, the next thing and second to last thing is it's all about the ab work. So it is not going, having a diastasis is again, we're going back to that inner unit. It all functions together. It's a pressure system. So that includes your diaphragm, which should be your main muscle for breathing, your pelvic floor, your TVA, all of these things need to work together as they should. And when they don't, even a piece that isn't, you know, because we think of DR and we think of the TVA, the abs, even your pelvic floor having issues can keep a diastasis open or your breath not being, you know, your breath not being your optimal breath and functioning properly could be a piece of keeping a DR open or your posture. There's a lot of things that go into it. And again, I go really deep on this in your best core, but here it would take forever. But there's just a lot of things that you want to be mindful of um, 
like I said, including posture, your whole inner unit, so pelvic floor and optimal breath with that diaphragm, all of those things play a role. It's not just about doing certain exercises and certain DR safe exercises. So you want to take a more holistic approach to healing that diastasis. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about here is just a cue and it's belly button to spine. This is not a super functional cue for healing your DR. It's not a super functional cue in general. And what I want to mention here is I have given this cue before when I first started personal training um, and it was, you know, just that's what they told you to do. Get people to turn their TVA on, say belly button to spine, they'll get it. And then I started to realize, one, that wasn't happening. <laughs> and two, I continued my education. And that's why you always want to follow people who continuously learn and continue to educate themselves and find the new research and learn the new things um, and just really dive deep into their craft or their profession because you don't want to be following someone that but if I never continued my education, I never would have went on and learned all of the importance of the deep core and all of these things that work together and how important it is for training, especially pregnancy and postpartum. So that aside, always follow people that are well educated in what they're talking about. <laughs> that being said, the belly button to spine cue is not super functional. So that is not what you want to be doing, especially when thinking about healing your diastasis. That is just pulling in. And again, you're pulling in right on that tissue which isn't super great to be doing. It's still putting pressure um, on just that one spot. And it's also really only getting you to target that middle TVA when you're really trying to pull in there. And the TVA runs all the way up. It runs like a corset around our torso and then connects in at that linea alba tissue. But we wanna think of it as the lower, the middle, and the upper TVA. And we wanna be able to connect to all of it, not just that middle section. So here's where I will quickly go over how that deep core fun should function when you're connecting to it and it's going to go from pelvic floor up the tva so we'll pull together and lift that pelvic floor wrap that tva from bottom to middle to top and that's how you want to connect it's not that pull the belly button spine don't worry about anything else because that neglects your pelvic floor that cuts off your breath and that is not getting that entire tva so not so functional there um but you do want to practice and if you need more information again I know I've said it already your best core can help you with this so much <laughs> there's so much more information there it's not just the quick five minute video um, it's tons of videos and tons of information and a whole downloadable book and all of that and exercises to help you with your diastasis or in your pregnancy and working on your core strength them um, because that's really important too but again very quickly just to finish up this video proper connection to that inner unit will help protect your core from diastasis and help allow diastasis to heal. This goes for incontinence and things too. Um, it's just really all of those pressure issues and pressure management uh, that we don't get taught and told often enough, which is why I'm making this video and I like to share this information and I made the Your Best Core Guide because once I learned it, my mind was blown um, and then I continued learning it through three more certifications after the first one. Um, and every time I'm just like, wow, people need to know this. So again, proper connection, pulling together and lifting that pelvic floor, wrapping that TVA. And then of course, when you're not taking your nice deep diaphragmatic breath in, allowing it to affect your entire inner unit, your entire core makes a big difference as well. If you need more on this, check out your best core. I know I've said it, but this is exactly what it's all about. So it just keeps coming to mind. And I know I can't give you all the information in this video. Um, if you have questions below, let me know. I will do my best to get to them. And I hope this was helpful in some way.